morning class 11 i really hope you are doing well so let's start our or i should say the continue our chapter which we started yesterday from the book called hornbill so the chapter which we started yesterday landscape of the soul written by Matthew Flaubert and uh, we had discussed about it that uh, in this chapter there is a discussion about art only artwork only like how painters uh, basically used to draw the things how painters uh, had a perception towards their paintings and uh, what they want from their viewers even the emperors were there we have discussed about few stories at how one painter had drawn a beautiful painting on a palace wall and then he clapped the door of the cave open and he went inside the painter emperor just got amazed because that painting also vanished off then even we have heard about that eye of the dragon the painter had not drawn because he had a fear then one uh, painter uh, his daughter loved the blacksmith but he was not uh, happy with it but as soon he noted that blacksmith was a good painter he made him his son-in-law so all these things we were discussing about it the chinese views the uh, european art uh, view as well as they, uh, these kind of stories are in the chinese classical education also so we are on page number 35 we are going to today learn about artists know the way or path not the emperor so we are going to learn here that emperor may know how to rule the territory but the way the path for the artwork everything artists know it very well not the emperor and even uh, imp uh, artists can reach to his goal uh, with this as we talk about the material appearance you know as that um, uh, painter he went inside his own painting into that cave so artists know his final re uh, goal how to reach to that goal then chinese painters they produce they don't produce a real view actually and they want that the viewers should come up with their own ideas they should travel they should imagine by looking at the painting they should try to understand the uh, mind here uh, then we are going to learn about that uh, the same thing enter any moment of travel then we are going to learn about the horizontal scroll that how the chinese used to, to uh, see the painting they open the paintings uh, horizontally by scrolling it so, and it covers up both mental and physical uh, stress then we are going to learn about the chinese artwork only known as shan shui the mountain water in which yin yang uh, middle void and the human these things we are going to learn about so here <coughs> i am reading for you uh, uh, the last paragraph which we covered up yesterday i am reading it again in the chinese story the emperor commissions a painting and appreciates its outer appearance but artist reveals him the true meaning of his work Right, so painter will the true meaning. Emperor may rule over the territory he has conquered, but only the artist knows the way with him. As discussed here, let me show the way. The Dao. Now Dao here means the artist says that let me show uh, the main path or the method of reaching it to here. And the mysterious works of the universe. So painter, artist knows about it. The painting is gone, but the artist has reached his goal beyond any material appearance so artists know how to reach to the final one then it says a chine a classical chinese landscape is not meant to reproduce an actual view so chinese classical is not the one to produce a real or actual view as would a western figurative painting and the europeans one basically try to metaphorically represent the uh, landscape and everything Whereas the European painter wants you, now listen here, European painter wants you to borrow his eyes and look at a particular landscape exactly as he saw it from a specific angle. So European painter wants that whatever that artist had drawn, people should borrow his eyes and people should also try to understand it in the same manner as a European has painted it. The Chinese painter does not choose a single viewpoint. And on the other side, Chinese painter want that people should imagine, they should travel. They should not have a single viewpoint. His landscape is not a real one. And you can enter it from any point, then travel in it. The artist creates a path for your eyes to travel up and down, then back again in a leisurely movement. So he says that the Chinese painter wants that it's, first of all the landscape which has been drawn, not the real one. And you can enter in that painting at any point, travel 
understand the things on your own. So painter has drawn it in that manner only, so that you can leisurely and can enter and you can go back again. This is even more true in the case of the horizontal scroll. So this is another type in which the action, now what happens in the horizontal scroll, in which the action of slowly opening one section of the painting. So slowly they open the one section of the painting, then the other, then the next and the next. So slowly and steadily they open it. Then rolling it up to move on to the other. That's what I think. First they open the one segment, then the other, they roll up and then move to the next one. Uh, adds a dimension of time which is unknown in other form of painting. And it is not in the any other style. Uh, adds a dimension of time which is unknown in other form of painting. And it is not in the any other style, only in this one only. It requires active participation of the viewer who decides at what pace he will travel through the painting. A participation which is physical as well as mental because from one segment to the other rolling up and you are traveling. The Chinese painter does not want you to borrow his eyes. The Chinese does, as European painter wants but Chinese does not. He wants you to enter his mind. So Chinese want that you should enter into the mind here. The landscape is an inner one. A spiritual and conceptual space. Now conceptual means which is uh, in a relation with the abstract representation basically. Then it says, this concept is expressed as Shan Shui, which is known as mountain water. So there is another Chinese art form known as Shan Shui, known as mountain water, which used together to represent the word landscape. So landscape they represent with this term Shan Shui, mountain water. This is another art form in which uh, they represent two complementary poles reflecting the Doist view. Now Doist view means the Chinese view of the universe. So in this way, in Shan Shui and mountain water, they represent the Chinese view. The mountain is Yang. Mountain is, see mountain water. Mountain is Yang. It vertically towards heaven, stable, warm and dry in the sun, while water is Yin. Mountain is Yang, sorry. And water is yin. Horizontal and resting on the earth, fluid, moist and cool. The interaction yin, the receptive feminine aspect of universal energy. So this is the feminine one. And yang is the opposite one, the active and masculine one. So this is another art form of Shan Shui. Which describes mountain water which covers yang and yin. Masculine and feminine. Yeah. Is of course a fundamental notion of Doism. Now, Doism, as I mentioned, Chinese view of art. What is often overlooked? Now, in this, what is overlooked? What we uh, basically don't, uh, not able to uh, observe is, is an essential third element. We are having an essential third element also in this, which we basically overlook in this yang and yin. That is, um, yeah. The middle void, we basically avoid or we overlook middle void. Where the interaction takes place, so means the interaction of yang and yin takes place at the middle void. So this is the art form here basically. The, uh, uh, yeah. So this can be compared so you with yogic practice. So this middle void is compared with the yogic practice called pranayama. Where you need to breathe in retain and breath out. The suspension of breath is the void where meditation occurs. Right? Now void basically means empty. So it means we are, we are retaining it. That is called the middle void. The middle void essential nothing can happen without it. Hence the importance of the white unpainted space in Chinese landscape. So basically means when you are having a Chinese landscape and when we are having that white space in between that is also having a great importance. This is also where man finds a fundamental role. In that space between heaven and earth. Now we are talking about that man is a very important. Because when we are talking about heaven and earth. Man becomes the source of communication between these two poles. Of earth and heaven. His presence is essential. Man's presence is essential. Even if it's only suggested. Far from being lost or oppressed by the lofty peaks. He is in Frank Iso Chang's wonderful expression, the eye of the landscape. And human is an eye of the landscape because human is the one who is a source of communication between heaven and earth. So this is about the 
art form which we are discussing and this whole it has been taken by excerpt from landscape of the soul ethics and spirituality in chinese painting slightly edited so there is a little edited in that so this is about the chinese and european the shan shui yin yang you need to understand the last portion earlier getting inside outsider art so this we will cover up in the next class so here the questions uh, i can seriously discuss with you contrast the chinese view of art with the european with examples like we have discussed the chinese one that you can travel any time european one painter wants that uh, people should borrow his eyes so you need to give an example but explain the concept of shan shui that is a mountain water which covers the yan and yin the water and mountain masculine and feminine then the next two questions from the next part which we will understand by talking about the text the emperor may rule over the territory he has conquered but the only the artist knows the way within and the landscape is an inner one a spiritual and conceptual sphere so we need to tell that that how the artist knows to uh, the way for reaching to the goal emperor just know the other outside things how to conquer it but not the uh, inside thing out he doesn't know about it so in this manner we will do about Right, so this you will do, and in the next class we will discuss the next question. Thank you for this. Year.